Welcome to Modera Sun Temple. Here's a, um, a quick walk through of the exteriors of the temple. So I'm in the temple campus and uh, the one that you see in front is the Surya Kund or the temple pond where people uh, take a bath and uh, surrounded by 108 small temples representing the 108 Rudraksha and uh, so they after the bath they offer prayers and then the the entrance that you see is the meeting hall and behind that is the main sanctum sanctorum of the sun temple so let's go inside so this is a world heritage site uh, it's not a UNESCO World Heritage Site, but a, a World Heritage Site that is um, about 15 kilometers from Mayasana, about 30 kilometers from Patan, and about 100 kilometers from Ahmedabad. So this is how the the temple looks. The one at the far back is the main sun temple. Let's go in. It's uh, 11th century built by the Solanki kings. Uh, it passes right through the Tropic of Cancer, like uh, the Sun Temple of Konark. But this precedes the Sun Temple of Konark, much older. It's actually an architectural beauty. Study in science, physics, Vastu Shastra, optics, light, directions, design, architecture, earthquake resistance, Hindu mythology, our epics, our stories, our gods and goddesses. So the entire uh, temple stands on a lowest lotus foundation and then these elephants that you see they are 365 in number representing the 365 days the pillars in the meeting hall they represent the 52 weeks in a year From here you can see the main temple and this is the the way from the temple pond into the meeting hall but we're going the other way around so you can see all these intricate carvings they portray stories um, passage of life passage of death Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha um, and uh, mythological stories there is Kama Sutra on the walls there is day-to-day uh, -day life activities um, stories from the Ramayana, stories from the Mahabharata So let's do the the outside of the sun temple so you can see the different levels let's stay here for a while you can look at the different levels there's Ardhanarishwara there is uh, Shiva Parvati there is Ganesha there is a Vishwakarma there is different sun gods representing the different months of the year uh,
in all it's a it's a it's a fabulous architectural beauty something that uh, india should be extremely proud of because it is a rich heritage it is science technology creativity history uh, religion mythology art all rolled into one now it might get a bit bright as we head into the sun so some of them have uh, were destroyed by alauddin khilji uh, when he took the jewels the diamond and uh, the golden statue of the sun god some of them have seen erosion due to rain and uh, wind and the elements so actually here um on the equinox days uh, because this temple lies exactly on the tropic of cancer um the uh, the first rays of the the sun um on these equinox days would fall right on the diamond that was located inside uh, on on the top of the sun god and hence the entire temple would be illuminated but the diamond is no more uh the sun god uh statue is also no more so it's not a working temple um but it's a it's an absolutely amazing place you can get absolutely totally lost here so many stories so many stories and uh, you can see it's if you you can actually spend 15 minutes next to each statue that's how detailed intricate each carving is so it's got the shikara on the top so it's got a 11 tiered building structure you should definitely visit it this place is uh, about 100 kilometers from uh, amdabad it falls in northern gujarat or northern amdabad sect um it is a must visit place in gujarat so do plan it for your next holiday all right bye from sun temple of madera